I'm Bella Katrina and I just wanted to take some time out to tell you a little bit about what a Shabam is. So a Shabam is connecting to loved ones on the other side. Also your spirit guides, guardian angels to bring you guidance. I also go into the tarot to ask any questions you may have regarding any situations, environments or relationships that you're in at the moment. And also I use the ancient art of Reiki healing, which clears your energy field, grounds you and protects you. So we do an open invocation to bring your guides, angels and masters in. And then at the end we do a closing prayer. So I look forward to connecting with you soon. Book your Shabam today. Hi and welcome, thanks for stopping by, it's Bella Katrina. Just giving you a little update on the energies that are hitting planet Earth at the moment are massive. The dark energy and low vibration of stress, worry, doubt and fear is at an all time high on planet Earth because the angels in heaven have fought the dark forces and thrown them down to Earth. So here is what we're calling the Great Remembrance or the Awakening of Planet Earth. So we're ascending because we're seeing the truth. Our codes in our DNA are being awakened. So you may feel that you're a little bit more sensitive than normal. Also your psychic abilities are opening, past timelines are opening, right? And they're collapsing and clearing and DNA is activating and light is coming to the planet but there's a battle on here so dark and light there is definitely a battle and I have in the last six months been clearing dark forces coming up right up against them and doing light work, doing grid work for Gaia. I've been called upon with the Ascended Masters and I've been working with the Galactic Federation of Light. So as the anchor point, as a human, it's the heart chakra that is the most special and it's the heart chakra that travels to different dimensions. We do it through our heart. So our mind isn't involved, that's why we're in the mind matrix and tricked to stay in the mind because it's like a pinball machine, yes? So I just wanted to talk to you about how you've been feeling because when there's past life things come up, this is why I've devised a program, self-empowerment program, it goes with my Reiki level one empowerment, see there? And Reiki level one releases stress, strengthens boundaries, activates self-healing and stops others from draining you. It's very important. Right, the dark forces can take over the physical body. They can inhabit your body, especially if you felt like you haven't had cleared energy, you feel drained. So next to that, the treatment is actually a magic healing package. See that? Chakra clearing, aura cleanse, Reiki recharge and Reiki power boost. So Reiki 1 empowerment and then you have a workshop and then the chakra healing, aura cleanse, Reiki recharge, Reiki power boost is a magic healing package. It's four sessions. Then that goes for four weeks. Then the six week program is here. It's Reiki 2 empowerment with workshops online self-paced and this is the healing. It's a six week program called a soul session six pack. So a Reiki 2 empowerment aligns with your life purpose, improves your health, recharges your energy, awakens your intuition, subdues feelings of anxiety and allows you to heal others. So we do a session of karma releasing, soul integration therapy, when your soul maybe have been fragmented through shock, trauma or grief. 
We then go into any inner child wounding and bring healing. And then spiritual healing There's also an absentee healing. We both go back to the past and we heal anything that's not cleared, collapsed timelines. And then progression therapy. So the spiritual healing is the new healing of the rays and the flames that I'm working with the Ascended Masters on to help all this. And then we have a progression therapy which you go forward in your life 12 months to the highest possible outcome for yourself and your life. And we anchor that down like a destination in your GPS and set you up for success and empowerment. So this whole program only goes for 10 weeks. This treatment on this side can be done and is found in what I call a light worker activation 10 week program. It can be done without the attunements, but I would prefer that you do the attunements. If you've done the attunements, please catch up with this program. This is going to change your life. Hi Taurus and welcome, you're with Bella Katrina and the angels and we're bringing you messages from your creator, from Mother Gaia, your planet and from Jesus, your saviour. So you're in good hands, please relax and enjoy this reading with me as I bring you healing, guidance and messages. Malachi 4.3 I will trample down the wicked. The wicked will be ashes under my feet. There's a message here from your creator saying that you need to speak the words that you want. You have to declare what you want out loud and you have to use God's sword, his word, right? It's sharper. There's something about you're not understanding the power of your creator and it's within you. So Joshua 1, nine. I just write these out, but they've, this has come up for you. I will be strong and courageous, never terrified, never discouraged, for the Lord my God is with me wherever I go. It's just my writing, don't worry. So my enemies turn back, they stumble and perish before God. You've got to get the full armour of God. Something about, you know, if... If God is for me, who can be against me? God will crush Satan under my feet. So you must be under psychic attack here. Those who are with us are more than those who are with them. Right? So it's like you're being revealed that we're not really having warfare with flesh and blood. That there is a higher frequency. And then there's you. And in between that is a low frequency that's stopping you from connecting to the high frequency and bringing it down. So the whole idea of the dark side is to stop you connecting to your creator. So why would they want to do that? That's where I'm coming from. So I found that out first because that's frequency modulation. It's all vibration. So Ephesians 6, 11, 18, from the Bible, this is his word, his sword. I put on the full armor of God, helmet of salvation, breastplate of righteousness, belt of truth, shoes of peace, shield of faith, and sword of the spirit. Hebrews 4.12, this is what they want you to know. The word of God is living and active, sharper than any double-edged sword. It can divide soul and spirit, joints and marrow. Judges the thoughts and attitudes of the heart. Revelation 1.16, out of his mouth came a sharp double-edged sword. You're not speaking your truth. You're not speaking the word. You're not casting out the dark with your word. So you know the dolphins, they swim and when they blow that um, air bubble, the air bubble is trapped in the water, but it, it, as it travels through the water, once it bursts through, it turns to light and then it, sorry, it turns to light through the water and then as soon as it breaks through, it turns to love. So dolphins are emitting unconditional love, Reiki, all the time. 
So that's where you need to bring more light instead of fighting the darkness. There's a big message about that for you. So we are going to go into that straight away because we were really looking at romance. Do you see that little thing? Any creepy bugs around you or anything like that is a sign that there's lower energy around. I find that if I see bugs anywhere, that's a message to me that somebody's bugging me or some frequency's bugging me. So be very aware of nature and the environment. It tells you lots of things if you're present and grounded. We're looking at Taurus for romance coming up through the holiday season and really, you know, through the next two weeks to four weeks. What's going on for Taurus in romance? We've got the Lucy Cavendish Tarot here. Look at you. So you're either worried about what somebody else's next move is or you have no clue what yours is. So in those times, it is good to observe the other person. If you're looking at a partnership, observe how they treat other people. Okay, past, present, future. This is you right now balancing that. What do I... It's like get back. I'm going to bring the light. And when I bring my sword and speak my truth... It has a vibration that goes out through the whole universe. I'm not joking. They're talking about multiverses to me now. It's like, oh, please, my little brain. We just cannot even fathom the consciousness. We're not meant to, but we're going to experience it instead. So there's a pause here. There's a hold on things here. Just for the moment, it feels like you're stuck. It feels like you're in Groundhog Day. It feels like um, I'm not worthy. I'm never going to get it. It's never going to happen for me, right? And worrying about the past and feeling quite fragile and worried about what other people think. See the swords coming at you? That's why you've got to speak the word through your mouth to get rid of those swords. So that's an awful place to be. So this is where they come down into the ground. Now you've got to decide to follow your intuition, to move with divine timing and the path of least resistance. So this is cautious progress, six of swords. This is saying do nothing. Everything that you think you want to do is not the right timing for it. It will blow up in your face, you know? So just anchor yourself down and balance because it's all your wisdom from your whole lives, all your lives. We're clearing up everything from this planet this time around. So every lifetime you've had and every experience you've had, it's time to um, consolidate your lessons and where you want to focus and how you want it to be and know that you've never been this wise before. You've never had this much experience. You've never been at this point in your experience, your talents, your skills. So you've got to just lift yourself up a bit and go, well, I'm so much wiser than before. I don't put up with as much as I used to. And even if I don't say it out loud, I'm very aware of it. So I'm just going to do that. What Bella said, I'm going to speak the word of God and say, I am with God. I renounce Satan. Get away from me, Satan. Get away from me, lower vibrations. I say no to you. Right? Otherwise, silence is consent. It's like having a, you know, a dog that's full of rabies just follow you around. These archons are like eight, the size of eight-year-old children, but they're like yucky, mangy dogs. Do you know what I mean? Like energy, and they have excrement that they just put all over you. It's quite foul. So you're wised up to, it's not the person, it's the archons that are attached to them, that are psychic and, you know, so it's like, no to that. doesn't matter about the person. You either cast the demon out or you say no to it. Because you want to move forward here in peace and happiness. And here's the two of cups for you. So that's really nice. That's a meeting. That's a decision. That's a, um, a date. That's a decision to go forward. And even though you want to maintain a certain amount of independence, you'll actually feel more confident within this relationship than without it. But you've just had to sort of suspense and waiting is the energy around you at the moment. 
So just waiting for the pool to fill up, balancing, knowing that you're wiser than before and your timing is exceptional when you're grounded and present. And here you are accepting and receiving love, the highest vibration of all. Very, very good. And also maintaining your independence and getting a wish granted. This is a gift from God to you for remaining and for trusting here. So we're just going to ask around this uh, message from Jesus because it feels like there's a bit of anxiety and it feels like you're saying to yourself that um, maybe I can't do this. Maybe this is not going to work, right? Maybe this is because it's not the right timing. Something hasn't fallen into place. We're just going to ask Jesus what that is. Let your light shine before men that they may see your good works and glorify your Father which is in heaven. So you're sh going to shine your bright light really bright. So what does that mean? Still want clarity. So I'm going to do another card for you. Come unto me all that you labour and are heavy laden and I will give you rest. So Jesus is here to talk to his beautiful energy from your creator and his unconditional love and he's already paid the price so you can escape and if you just declare your sins, anything you feel guilty or shameful for, get it out, bring it to the light. Jesus is the light, okay? So you bring it to the light so Satan doesn't have it, can't use it against you because that's what he does. He, he makes people do things and then uses them against him, them. That's how he set up the whole, can have, do, that's why they call them puppets. The politicians are puppets because he's got stuff on them that if they don't do what he says, then they have proof that they did this and this and this. So it's a humiliation ritual like with um, Bill and Monica. Yeah? So here it's saying that you need to go to your creator so you don't get humiliated by the devil because this is your wisdom time to know that, to go to the light, go to Jesus in this time and ask for this. I want to maintain my independence, please God help me, while in union with a significant other and I need a bit of a lift financially, emotionally, spiritually and physically. I need your miracles. Bring them to me now. Thank you, thank you. I ask this in the name of Jesus Christ. Amen. It's like that, a bit like that. A bit like saying no, you know, looking at a phone call that's coming in and you just know that somebody's going to dump on you or drain you and you just look at it and go, ah, hello. This time you're going to go, no. I don't feel like that right now. I'll call them back when I feel a bit more bulletproof. So let's ask the romance angels now. So many cards. I'm going to do Romance Angels, Angels and Gaia and the Crystal Angels. Hope you're enjoying this reading. Thanks so much for connecting on my channel. It's really a buzz to have you here and to comment and to share your heart. I can feel it all crystalline energy. We're actually being buzzed up. And there's more happening than we can even comprehend. I was asking Jesus about it. It's like, in your human state as you are right now, you can't comprehend it. I'm saying, I know, I don't understand the time and space doesn't exist, even though I've been studying it for years in Reiki and I take it out and it works. But in 3D, I don't have the access to the consciousness. But it is expanding and soon we'll be able to travel there and experience it instead of wondering about it. And that's like very soon. So we're doing a full reading here for Taurus, past, present, future. This is you right now. So maybe you're in a marriage that you don't want to be in or maybe you're thinking about committing to somebody. So here is the actual outcome. Now, you're going to marry this person. You're going to marry this. This could be a twin flame soulmate coming in for marriage. 
Feels like you've known them since childhood this time. Here, past, you've realised it's safe to love and be loved. Well done, Taurus. Romantic feelings resurfacing in your heart, becoming alive again. You know, that's love. It's such a huge vibration. And it moves into the next level of commitment because you're ready. You're ready. We're looking at children here. You, you know, we do talk about your inner child, but this is also talking about um, children taking on a responsibility of a partner's children or your both children interacting with each other. There needs to be rules and there needs to be, um, you know, like in a game of soccer, it's not very good if you don't have a referee or any rules. It's not really a game. So the kids need to know how they get points, how they score goals, what's out of out of range, and what goes to the sin bin. <laughs> out of range, Brrr, offside is what I mean. So here is um, also sharing the load with other people's children. So you, you know, like sharing maybe drop offs, pickups, maybe talking about this on how other people that you admire you know, and getting help from the angels and asking God for information that you need for it to show up and for him to reveal it to you. And then the outcome is here. It's quite serious here. I don't know why that's come up. Because of your trust and you're very attractive at the moment. There's something about what you've been through. You've steadied something. It's steady now. So good because you've had a tough time. So this is like anchoring it down, right? I'm just going to love and be loved and that's it. That's my focus. So I'm going to get plant my veggie garden. I'm going to open the door in the morning and let the breeze come through with the sunlight. I'm going to slow down and enjoy this intimacy. So if you don't have a partner around you, your heart is still opening and it sends out a call. Our hearts talk to each other. I've never seen anything like it. But if you need help with um, getting the energy down through your crown, through your mind, because you can't slow down, Reiki is really good for that activations, right? Or get your shabam with me if you'd like to know more. So I'm going to do a crystal. Looks good. Looks good, Taurus. We'll see what crystal is here for you. These are the Dorian Virtues crystal angels. And we're just going to ask. This is the one. Oh, no. For Taurus, because it's holiday season. So spiritual protection for you. I knew that. You need some spiritual protection. Because, yes, you're grounded, but you're also a nice person. Do you know what I mean? So other people can take advantage of you. You need to be really strict on who you hang out with. And notice how you feel after you leave them. Some people do need to be told, right, to get back out of your auric field. You are being watched over and protected physically, emotionally and energetically. So that's a beautiful um, colour to surround yourself in if you're very visual. If you're visual. So what was the other card for them? thought I had another one out. I'm going to pick another one for you. Let yourself sparkle and shine. Taurus, it's your turn. Isn't that the most beautiful card you've ever seen? I just love her. She's opal. You are guided to be bold and show your bigger than life side to the world. This is you going, nah, don't talk like that to me. I'm a child of God. Don't say I can't do it. Don't put me down. You're not taking it from anybody anymore. Uh-uh-uh. Now's the time to reveal your personality and shine brightly. This card comes up whenever you have been hiding your light for fear of being too much. You are guided to show your larger-than-life side. Laugh heartily, express your opinions freely, dress boldly and don't hold back. You inspire others to shine their light through your living example. This card can also be a sign of expressing and clearing any anger you've been repressing in a relationship. In particular, take healthy action in a marriage where hidden resentment has negatively affected the romance and friendship within the partnership. Marital counselling or meditation is advised to bring about healing and resolution. I also get leaving. Like, I'm not doing this anymore. You have to speak. I am not here anymore. This is not for me. 
without guilt or shame because you just gave it all to Jesus, right? You don't feel guilty that, yes, you committed over here. It's like whoever God puts you with, not whoever man puts you with. So don't even feel guilty like if your heart's not there because it's worse to stay and show your children that your heart has resentment for this person and then they learn resentment instead of clearing it, freeing yourself and leaving if you have to, making yourself happy and filling with love and then your children do the same. It will happen, it's like this, like the angels and Jesus saying, it's like when you say it will happen, it will happen, okay? So you need to state out loud what you want to happen and declare it's happening now. And then you'll get the guidance to follow that. And it has been um, not to do anything for a minute. But when you get it, it'll be great. Opal, this fragile light refracting stone is formed from silica and water. Opals are celebrated for their fiery colouring and their association with spiritual alchemy. They can amplify hidden wishes and feelings as well as your intentions for manifesting big time coming up anything that stops you from manifesting right you're going to be protected from because it's your time to shine so anyone that brings you down you're going to realize that you go wow i live with somebody who put me down for 10 years and then i hang out with these other people and i feel really good and positive and strong about myself and you know it's like i'm out and you're protected if you want to do that or then you have to speak your truth and put your requests in to who you're with. And you've got to pray, pray, pray. And get into social activities with like-minded people. Because, you know, you're changing your likes and dislikes of lots of things. Like entertainment, people, um, the way you spend your time, what you talk about. You're sick of regurgitating the past. You know, you want to talk about ideas and discuss the future and... Um, the cosmos and you know basic stuff as well like what what type of can you put zucchini make a zucchini bread you know like do basic things to just keep you grounded okay we're looking for a Gaia card these are Tony Carmine Salerno Gaia Oracle harmony very nice so this is the confidence coming back isn't that good it's like a flip you know it's like this is your biggest fear you face, so now it's gone. The fear's gone. There's no barrier between you and just loving yourself. This card heralds a period of inner and outer harmony. In the coming months, you will feel an increased sense of self-confidence, which will result in greater productivity. It is as if you have learnt to harness the primal forces of nature and are able to channel this energy in a powerful and meaningful way to achieve your goals. Your guiding stars are in harmonious alignment at present. Go Taurus! This is what you've been waiting for. This is your time to shine. Everything's in alignment. Your guiding stars are in harmonious alignment at present. This is a fortunate time for you. And this period will continue for several months. Be mindful of the power you have at present. Honour it, respect it and use it wisely. What you learn in this time will help you greatly in the future. Observe your state of being during this time as well as your actions and how others react to you. That's what I was saying. Yeah. It's like you're not going to sit in other people's, um, you know, dumping on you, their stuff. It's like, no. Nah. Notice how many doors open and how previously inaccessible paths now become clear of obstacles. All you desire comes to you with little effort, all because there is harmony in your inner and outer worlds. Remember this in the future, for it will serve you well. Affirmations. I am one with the forces of nature. I am one with the earth and all creation. I use my power wisely and to great effect. I create, create harmony in my life through love and acceptance. I achieve my goals with ease and I am now connected to my creator and invite his son into my heart to experience unconditional love, power, self-confidence and productivity easily flow through me and to me. And I open to receiving abundance. 
Well done, Taurus. It's going to be a great time to shine. If you feel like you would need some help with clearing some negativity um, and, you know, getting brighter, activated, integrated, please look at my workshops. I do soulmate Reiki activations and integration and I teach the Reiki Yusui natural healing method. So I look forward to connecting with you there or your free upgrade in your Shabam where you get guidance, healing and messages. And thank you so much for your um, connection here. I do appreciate your comments, your insights. I love it. all of you. And we're shining really bright and we're really helping each other through this channel. It's a delight and I'm really enjoying it. And there's more magic here than we even can understand. I'm only at 1% and it's hurting my brain. Thanks for bringing the harmony into the world. Thanks for being you. Let yourself shine and don't let anyone dull your sparkle. I love you. Thanks, Thanks Taurus. Bye for now. So this is the um, Gone is the Wounded Healer. That's an old paradigm that we're leaving and we're getting healed. So if you need to do some healing, you need karma releasing, soul integration, past life healing, inner child, spiritual and progression. Right? It's an excellent, excellent program. Ten weeks it will clear, especially at this time of the awakening process, process and the dark forces about. So if you are feeling low in energy, that's a sign you're under psychic attack. If you can't think straight or worry a lot or get migraine headaches, dizzy feelings, these can all be symptoms that there's energy trying to drain you and dark forces can try and get into your body. If you have experienced trauma or shock or grief, or any abuse or narcissistic abuse in your life and you have suffered um, and been out able to disassociate means leave your body because it was so great and it may have happened at such a young age that no one could possibly handle that trauma so we actually disassociate or if you're codependent at all and you leave the body because the shock and trauma is too great to stay in the body. This is a time to heal this now and this is what this self-empowerment program is all about. Is healing and collapsing all these different timelines, different past lives, present lives, parallel lives. Everything's happening simultaneously and everything's coming to be cleared and that's why you came in this lifetime is to heal this past energy to heal your bloodlines to heal your genetic coding and to detach from the matrix and bring um, energy to planet earth through your heart chakra and through um, acts of service to planet earth <sighs> So I've set up a little healing for you, right, while I've been talking to you. So if you would just receive now, these crystals are buzzed up with the power of Reiki. So if you haven't had Reiki before, if you haven't had it for a while, just receive it now and notice how you feel. Allowing it just like a mist to come through the screen, through the crystals that I've buzzed up, that I'm sending to you now. And calm your mind a little bit. Let it relax, let your body let go and let yourself heal. Remember that you're not alone and that there are skills that I have developed that you learn in the workshop in this self-empowerment program and we're practicing them every day so spiritual gifts are awakening once you clear and collapse these timelines you take the gifts from those timelines from those past lives and we amplify them in the Reiki mastership so it's been exciting to have this chat um, if I can help any way clear ground balance protect your energy 
right? Use my YouTube channel for support through this. Book um, a 10 pack and activate, clear, and get your energy going, get it flowing because it's only going to get more dense. And this is the darkest time ever to be on the planet. And if you bring the light, the angels are going to times it by a thousand. So we need to shine really bright because it's only the human body with the heart chakra clear and present that can change the frequency of the whole world. And that is within you. That's why you are here. So shine really, really bright. Look at ReikiByBella.com to choose your healing program or your self-empowerment program or if you're up to mastership. I look forward to bringing you empowerment and success. Shine, shine, really, really bright, bright. Love from Bella.